Welcome everybody, some more of Hogwarts Legacy. So, uh, off the camera, we did open up the map a little bit here. But like I was saying, we did, we went all the way on this side and we got like these areas open up, cleared the... Yeah, so we picked up some side quests as well. So we got this whole area open up here, um, here and here. We still got a lot to do here, but we're going to do that like a little later. Maybe we're going to have to go here for the quest or something, but there's a lot of areas as you guys can see. It's, it's actually pretty maddening. But I feel like we'll have to go this far for some of the quests, but um, yeah, we worked on doing it here. We got a couple of quests we got to do here, but uh, right now we're going to focus on the main story right now. We're going to go and meet uh, Professor Weasley, the ancestor of Ron Weasley, I'm assuming. Let's 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 make sure we use this. I think this is called like the room of requirement. I heard a lot about this room. This side is pretty funky. Funky funky. And we got a new outfit too. We got like a dragon thing. You know, we did uh, some of the challenges and here it is. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Hogwarts always has some hidden secrets, don't they? Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. So we were just walking. Shall we? After you, Professor. Seems like we're like still just scratching the surface of the game, to be honest. Like tons to do. What is this place? This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely. Rebellion. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Revelio. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. <coughs> I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. We got a pet. Splendid. Now. What is this ability? Evanesco. Evanesco on those chairs. Revelio. Lumos. Right here. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. Revelio. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. We got a lot of Moonstones. We formed the shit out of that stuff. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? I, hey, I waited for you. I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of perchant than you'd expect. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own. Rebellion. Yes, Professor. Can I run? Okay, very good. Let's go over here, man. 
Since we know this spell, we're gonna see if we can clear up some of these areas. Lumos. You know? Oh. oh, nothing over here, I guess. Rebellion. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. <laughs> She ain't happy with us. Rebellion. Okay, um. Oh, no. Accio. Ooh, ooh. Perfecto. Ah, we got a robe here. Gonna drink a little bit of tea. Ah, we got this little thing here. Okay, okay, relax. Relax, everybody. Rebellion. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Precarious. An intruder! Stop them! No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Rebellion. A bit offended, the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. <laughs> So they call it room of requirements, right? Oh. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Revelio. Revalio. What was that? Revelio. Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. Rebellion. We hope that house elf can find us in here. Let's go in here. Oh, okay. Rebellion. That would do it, wouldn't it? Wouldn't. There's a golden stitch. I want to grab that thing. Sucks they don't have um, Quidditch in this, to be honest. That would have been... Oh, a freaking badass, bro. Like... Quidditch would have been what is oh we we are finding something here. Room of requirements. Yikes! Careful! Huh? 
Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Uh, throwing stuff at us. <laughs> little cunt. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Oh, we have a now, lot of fun. It's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Well, first we need to empty, don't we? yourself quite a canvas to work with I look forward to seeing what you do with the space ah and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description excellent it can identify unfamiliar items of clothing one should always understand the effects of anything in which you have unlocked the desk of this game. Use the reveal magical properties of any un, un... Oh, we got some of this. Let's go. Cool. Oh, shit. Bro, we got all of this. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, when did we get that? Oh, nice. Look at this. This says, Increased spell damage while concealed by delicious. Oh, that's nice. Looks like dapper too, bro. Okay, we can sell all the rest of this. This has some, uh... What else we got? We got, like, a robe. I don't think the robe is much. Oh, we still need level 18 for that. Um, what else did we pick up here? Got some hand gloves. Oh, right here. Look at that. Okay, level 17. So that one takes a little bit of a nosedive, but that looks pretty dope. Decreases damage taken from Dark Monk. Nice. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna change this up a little. I like I like this one a lot. I, I'm digging it, you know, like. So we're gonna keep that. Anything else here? No. No. Got like a nice little scarf there. Go here quickly. And inventory, let's clear these. We got these notes here. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Revelio. Seems like why are we getting a save point there? 
I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Let's go. Oh, that thing's coming fast, bro. Conjuring. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Oh, I got a lot, bro. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. It's my man. Why Pillage. don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Lumos. Conjuring. What, what does you say? Conjure a uh, potion station. A table. A potting table, right? Yeah. Conjure a potting table. Station. Oh, are these just styles or well, let's have a look here. I mean, like, it doesn't really... Oh, that looks nice. Okay. okay let's look for a potting table, then. I think herbiology is here. Yeah. Put this in this corner. Um... Digging this one, let's change. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. 
Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Let's, let's put a rug here, Bob, man. Why doesn't it let us? Hold on a second. Let's go talk to. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Well, I got a lot. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I didn't brew anything, my man, not yet. Dee cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Beasts? We are no beast here, my man. Seeding. Oh yeah, you know we're gonna we're gonna put this big boy right here. How do we how do we rotate an object?
Oh, there you go. We have to get rid of it. Okay, let's uh, try this one more time. Oh, we never checked this one. Oh, what is this one? Oh, that's nice too. I like this one. We need like a little table here. Okay, um It warms my heart to see your interest in the politics, dare I say. Blossom. Okay, we, we don't need anything here. We need this room to be bigger, bro. Like this is too small right now. Um There's utilities here. Oh we have desk of description already. I cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Deke, I'm uh... Why can't we place it there? Cats, please. Flower box. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the wisest of them all? you've brewed walls This might work. 
speaks no herbology, Professor, but some plants here seem to be ready to harvest. What else? A decoration. Wall painting, seasonal decorations, statues. Normal requirement. Deke hasn't seen good work. Shall we move on? Yeah, we should. I've conjured everything I can. What's We've been next? conjuring all day. I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. From a requirements. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. I think we need to. I think in this case. Dick cannot believe how many beasts you have here. Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you brewed. Oh, yeah. Change the color of an item, adjust the size of an item. change the color oh let's go here Just an Dick item size. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Not the walls we want. spell directly on the room's architecture 
Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance. Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic so years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Yes, Deke. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? A cool moonlight, ambient sound. I like something natural and earthy. I focus on that. Yeah. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Oh. Mm, quite a difference of course you needn't keep this style if you don't like it you can always ask Deke to change it back now you have learned a good bit about alteration thank you professor the room is full of possibilities indeed no matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. itself to your needs it must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting if you'd like to customize the space further you can use these spell crafts you'll find more of them both inside and outside the school thank you professor i shall keep an eye out good i'll leave you to it this is your space now use it wisely Oh, let's go. Oh, we can, uh, we can use an item now, right? Oh, which one is it? I think it's here. But, uh, we are going to get rid of it. What else do we have? Nothing, I guess. All right. Well, we'll cast a scout point. That point somewhere in a sec. I want to. Talent tree. Let's, do we can't? We don't have any dark arts right now, so. This wouldn't make sense. I'll definitely get that up. Ooh. No, I like the scientific one. Rebellion. 
Oh no, let's look at the floor here. Yes, so. Uh. We're gonna put a round table here. Yes. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Hmm, huh, sounds perfect. I'd probably like this man's crazy. Yeah, that looks nice too. Um I guess this will eventually open up as well. I see there's like better lighting in this. Let's go with that, uh, like. What fake do? Alright, what else do we have here quest wise? Um, shadows, professors, part two. Acquire and use thunder brew. Do we have thunder brew potions? Alright. Yeah, what we have, what we'll probably do here, we're going to do a quick quest. Not flight test, breaking camp. Does that make more sense? Oh, that's a level 30 quest. Damn. Level 17. This, okay, this one makes sense. We'll go do this one. We'll go to the map. It's a world map here. And right here. We can use it's a level two mission, so I've always said that travel Shut up woman travel. One of Ranrock's camps, exactly as Madame Beaumont described. I have a brother who works at Green Guts. Uh, I'm Maria. Oh, that's what it does. Oh, that's sick. Lumos. 
Terror. Expelliarmus. Incendium. Nebiosa. Accio. You've one less follower, Ranrock. One camp down, one more to go. Hey, where's the other camp? All right, we're gonna go to it. Expelliarmus. Enjoy suffering, do you? Glad to hear that. Both clamps cleared, cleared, cleared. Rebellion. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. We're gonna let's just go. Maybe this is something we're gonna have to do after. Let's go to Claire. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Oh, I do miss the bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. I should be going now. Thank you. Thank you. Sincerely. Madame Beaumont, might I speak with you? I'd be happy to speak with you. Especially after your help ridding us of Ranrock's loyalists. Mrs. Sprottle told me a little more about your brother Bardolph. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolph herself if she could. She mentioned dark magic in even the Ashwinders. 
Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolf's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day, he didn't come home. Mm. Could Bardolf have run off? No, he'd never leave me here alone. He did speak of going to talk with Victor Rookwood. That worries me almost more than his attempts at mastering dark magic. Rookwood is as dangerous as Ranrock, in my opinion. Is there anything your brother took with him that might help to track him down? Hmm, only his satchel, journal, and a woolen jumper I knitted for him. That's all I can recall. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. What do you have to say? Yes, we want to sell you everything. Where are you? I'll not give up hope. Marvelous. I could always use more of these. Thank you for passing through. Not a problem, oh. No problem. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, we got an item legendary mask. What is this appearance wise? So look at this. Officer's uniform. Oh, we still want Bingo. Um, what do we have here? Fire essence. This would be pretty useful as well. For the time being, we need to learn some of these dark moves. Oh, look at this. Boom. That's a one shot kill right there. Kills enemy instantly. That's nuts. Temper force enemy to fight as if they were your companion. Nice. Laviosa. Oh, well, that's pretty nice though. There are more. Ooh. Oh, that flip them. Freezes enemy, okay. <laughs> oh, there's still some really good spells we gotta learn. Which. Oh, these are like essentials. Basic. Oh, it gives us object throwing. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Live, live, live. Um, I think we can head back to school now, Professor. To Defondo. Brothers keep. Okay. Discover what happened. Uh, we're still doing this one. We need level 30 speaker. Okay, we can probably go. All we'll do is we'll follow this one. Hogwart map. I believe it was in here. Yeah. The professor fix awesome. No, what am I doing? I have to go to right here. Right, library annex, right? Potions class, right? Yeah. Hmm. A fish so sharps. Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you. I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Wand at the ready. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. Defindo, it's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Oh, we can probably put this one here. Yeah, we learned, uh, we learned Defendo. We will, now where do we want to go to? I think we should go outside. I think we can, uh, start the flight test here. Let's see a map. Where is she? Right here. Makes sense, right? Then uh, we will head out from here. Oh, this is where the Quidditch takes place. I wonder. Can we go up here? Can I? Can I chill down here? Revelio. Perfecto. All right, what we're going to do is we're just going to end this one off here, I believe. Yeah, I think it I think it would make sense. Cuz we'll end this one off here and we will continue in the next episode. So I'll see you guys then. <laughs>